everybody, welcome. This is Nico from Unicorn Riot. We are live inside of Wells Fargo right now. People are locked down. People are locked down and they're stopping. Right now, people have come to Wells Fargo downtown offices to literally stop business as usual. And there's a bunch of Wells Fargo employees that are very, very mad that they're not able to get into their jobs. And people have locked down the hallways. They're not, they're not pushing against anybody. They're not being violent. If the workers are trying to go around them, if they're trying to stop them. And so right now you have a Wells Fargo employee yelling at everybody that they're doing it all wrong. They're doing it backwards. See, there's a bunch of folks in here. Of course, that was bullshit. So we got signs that divest, kill the black snake, stop the pipeline, serve people and protect water, divest from dapple, love water. Water is life, stand with Standing Rock, divest, defund, and destroy. And again, uh, we have uh, consistent uh, bickering from the Wells Fargo police, uh, Wells Fargo employees, excuse me, trying to get inside. Get out of my way. Yeah, I am. So they're telling the employees to move off, move back, and right now it looks like what they're going to do is try to apply an avenue for the other employees to come in, and some of the other water protectors that are here are stopping this from happening. So right now we have a concerted effort of over two to three dozen folks in here working as water protectors to try to divest Wall Fargo to call for Wells Fargo to divest from funding Dakota Access Pipeline. Right now, we have a Wells Fargo employee that's literally pulling people's... So again, this guy is a Wells Fargo employee of uh, a security officer, actually, not Wells Fargo. There is security officers that are in here. There's been no special orders by the police. The, po uh, the employees are very, very uptight. They're trying to get to work. They said specifically many times, we are trying to get to work. So right now we see Wells Fargo employees that are trying to push their way into the offices. And right now on the other side there's employees that are allowing themselves in on that side. So again, um, water protectors have gone and taken it upon themselves to 
Cover these Don't touch us. Always. So the chant you heard, uh, can't drink oil, what's more important, water or money. And people are locked down uh, with the arm locks in the hallways of Wells Fargo, downtown Minneapolis. We're in the Wells Fargo offices. These are brand new office buildings. Uh, people have signs called that vest, stop the pipeline, Wells Fargo funds genocide, serve, protect, protect water, or excuse me, serve people and protect water, that vest from death. And that's the main message. Right now, uh, water protectors here in downtown Minneapolis, and they're calling for Wells Fargo to divest from its funding from that. They can't touch me. If you approach and touch us, we don't want to touch you, but this is close. This is close for the day. No, yeah, but if you approach and you touch us, you're you the one who's touching us. Take, take the day off and go upstairs. You can move in your way. River in the United States and going through treaty lands. Helps me feed my children. Wells Fargo also. Which my children need to be fed. Tell your boss. Your children need to be Tell your boss. I need shelter. You need water to drink. Tell your boss. Tell your So right now the security officer is saying, we'll get you up there ladies, uh, we have jobs, we all have jobs. And so these are all uh, Wells Fargo employees that are actually getting brought upstairs to a different way, a different direction. Um, and here is one of the sides of the lockdown, there is the other side of the lockdown. Yeah. 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 Yeah, more officers, uh, security officers, there's no police officers that have arrived yet. <laughs> anybody anybody want to talk about what they're, why they're doing? Um, sure. Uh, Wells Fargo is one of the banks that's funding the Dakota Access Pipeline, which probably everybody knows is being built uh, through Standing Rock Sioux Tribe treaty lands in North Dakota right now, um, destroying sacred sites, threatening the waters of the Missouri River and the Mississippi River in Iowa, um, ignoring treaty rights, brutalizing Native people with police. So Wells Fargo is part of that problem by by funding that pipeline, uh, and we're demanding that they divest from Dakota Access. Mm. And so you, you are um, you're, you're in a lockbox right now. Yep. Yeah, we're we're locked together, um, shutting down the entrances to the corporate offices of Wells Fargo in downtown Minneapolis. Mm. Why did you choose Wells Fargo? Uh, Wells Fargo is one of the many banks. So there's like 17 or more financial institutions that are funding Dapple. Wells Fargo um, is already like pretty 
embroiled in scandal and does and uh, is just generally a pretty shitty company. So mm. we're just trying to pressure them. Around. <laughs> All right, thank you. As as we're talking, um, uh, there is a water protector that moved their direction over to the side. And they're they're essentially using this this area to block now uh, the employees from going. Again, so right now there's uh, more employees that are trying to get their way through. So I just want to actually record the case so we know who to arrest. Yeah, you, guys, you guys are in private property right now. That's not private property. <laughs> okay. And you're uh, with Wells Fargo? I'm media. Huh? I'm, I'm with media, sir. You're media. Do you have mm -hmm. credentials? Yep. Do you? Can I yep. see your credentials? I'll give you my card real quick. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And we need to say that. I just want to make sure that you know you're working for the biggest funding pipeline that's going to go under the largest river in North America. It's called I Have a Job. It's called I Also Have a Job. We all have jobs, you dumbass. We're going to have you over there. Such a great thing. I'm trying to help you guys. Like, you're not helping. You're you can go help by walking away and not doing work today. I'm sure they're aware they're, they can, they can go to jail. I'm sure they're aware of that. So right now you have uh, employees that are going in through that direction. It's uh, some s Christmas caroling, some no dapple Christmas caroling going on. Not Christmas caroling, but no dapple singing. You want your parents and your kids to see you hurt somebody today? Don't watch me there, ma'am. So there's more employees that are trying to walk through and. We have jobs. You should do it too. Take the day off. All right. Well, Sparta employees, don't even try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Hey, listen. Listen to your boss. Right here, I got a guy in a tan shirt. He's going to help you get up to your floor, okay? Just have your badges ready, all right? Thank you. Dude, go to work. Hey. Cool. Thanks. Hey, how are you going to feel when the pipeline bursts in the river? The pipeline yeah, yeah, exactly. is being funded by exactly. Wells Fargo, your boss. Think about it. Put two and two together. You do math what for a living. Pipeline. And so you see again, there's uh, folks that are stopping a little bit of the moving of people as ordinary business throughout Wells Fargo building. So we're in downtown Minneapolis. And this is uh, Wells Fargo's main office. They have brand new buildings downtown. I'm not sure if there's corporate headquarters in Minneapolis or Minnesota or whatever it is. But water protectors here, dozens of them. So this dude. Who's going to pay for that? You guys? That has been scratched. Excuse me, from your stupid little army thing, man. Do you have video there? Yeah, actually, we've got cameras all over this building, dude. Hey. Oh, I want to see this. Oh. Hey, you're on film. Yeah, we just have to do that. 
So this this security guy who was just yelling at his own uh, employees to not go by this area is just like telling this person to go by this area. Now he's telling him to go the other way. A minute ago he was telling all the employees to go the other way, and then he's like, "Oh, I want to see this." And so that's what's happening right now with this uh, this uh, security officer. Um, and now he's going to bring that employee off to the other side. Again, again, what's happening is people have lockdown. So you're going to break my arms? No. They're I'm, I'm not going to break your arms off. Not to your guy here. Not to your guy here. They'll help you. Both Fargo employees, it's like, good, have you come over here. We're going to bring you off the freight elevator. So the Wells Fargo employees continuously get told um, that they are not trying to allow people to to go this direction because of the trouble that's happening right now. Um, security continues to tell them to go the other direction. A lot of employees have decided to ignore um, their superiors or the security that's telling them to go another direction. There's people who have stopped up all of the doors, Wells essentially. Wells Fargo employees, we're not going to have you try this. We're going to find an alternative way for you guys to get to your floor. Again, we're in downtown Please Minneapolis. This is Nico from Unicorn Ride. Thank you all for joining us. This guy just walked by. They're not going to stop me. He was already just on the other side. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. What can I do with you? You are the one who is now like pushing them from the other side. That's so hilarious. They're just like little people. Come on. Not Your employees my, not are my employee. Your employees not are my being employees. Violated. What do you work for, sir? <laughs> so, um, again, they're moving a lot of the sir, Wells Fargo employees to the other direction. Sir, we can get you up a different way, okay? Um, any of you all want to talk about what you all doing right now? Sure. Yeah. Uh, we're here at Wells Fargo corporate offices in downtown Minneapolis, blocking access for workers to get to work today because Wells Fargo is a major funder of the Dakota Access Pipeline. So we're standing in solidarity with Native people and everyone who cares about water uh, to demand that they divest and stop the pipeline. Right. And so you all have lock boxes on your arms and you're trying to prevent business as usual? Yeah, yep, shutting down the offices for today. Okay. Right. And um, what do you hope that this can do? Do you, do you hope that this can bring forth more uh, awareness to divest from Wells Fargo and, and the other funders? Yeah, uh, awareness and then also directly impact them, their bottom line today, hopefully, so that they get the message that this is not okay. Anything else? Basically, why we're here. So again, this person, the uh, security officer, is continuing to tell other Wells Fargo employees to go another direction, as this is what they are faced with. You want to talk at all about uh, standing in the middle of the hallway? How has it been so far? Uh, people have been pretty aggressive. Uh, they really want to get to work, apparently. Um, even despite telling them about what uh, Wells Fargo is funding, they're pretty interested in going to work. And this guy just bullies his way. Wow! Literally assaulting him. Hey! That man literally assaulted people. Oh, gotcha. Wow. He touched us first. Don't do that. Shame. 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 Hey, let me go through. Shame. Hey, what's your name, sir? What were you thinking right now? What's your name, sir? What are you thinking right now? He's going to the 11th floor. He just smashed through people, choking them, pushing them, putting them in headlocks. Wow. Wow. He was just choking him against the wall. He was choking! So as you saw, 
The man just walked right, right through them, choking, as well as putting in the in the headlock. He put you in the headlock. How you feeling right now? Are you all right? Okay, a little shook up. A little shook up. He, he he put his all of his might into you and put his elbow into your throat. Yeah. Against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm all right. Got ripped up a little bit, but it's all right. Your you company you is funding the Dakota Access Pipeline, which is crossing under the widest river in North America. If it bursts, how are you going to feel about your jobs? Remember that the next time you put one of us in a chokehold to try to get through a line. Remember that when you're choking on poison water. My favorite little people. Assault? Cool. Man just said he's going to try to file assault charges. She just said people are getting thrown to the ground, and um, essentially it sounds like she's talking about uh, her employees. Here comes the police. Good. Thank you. About time. Oh. Sir, we're not going to have you try this way to get to your floor. We'll find a different means for you if you want to follow the other people heading that way. So here's MPD. They have arrived. One, two, three officers on the left side and a few officers on the right of that middle pole. And so right now we have this spot. This hallway is getting taken. That hallway is getting taken. Water protectors have taken up this spot, which is a door that allows for other folks, like Wells Fargo employees and other people working in this building to move upstairs. So again, there has been no like uh, telling, they haven't told anybody to move off of this area except for the specific people that are um, at the area. They said that they were going to go to jail, but they haven't told anybody to leave. They haven't said this is private property, get off of our property yet. They just said they're calling the cops and now the cops have arrived. So the police are just hearing the story right now. The security officer said, Joe, did you get that decoy balloon shot down? Or shut, shut down, I'm not really sure specifically the term is. But there was a couple decoys that were put in place out here to try to create a, a way for the water protectors in here to make their way to lockdown at the edge of the hallway.
He was just told to go the other direction and told to not go through this way. And then he said, oh, I'm going to go through this way. Oh, he's being told now. No, he's moving on. You were already on film doing your thing, so you're good. Okay, again, there hasn't been any dispersal order of any kind. There's police officers that are standing off to the side. Um, they've been instructed as to what's happening. They're still just sort of standing around. I'm not really sure what's happening with that. Again, there hasn't been a dispersal order. Um, you hear the, the song, People Gonna Rise With The Water. People are going to rise like the, with the water. Going to calm this crisis down. Going to the voice of my great granddaughter. Going to stop this pipeline now. And so that's essentially the chant that people are singing right now. Uh, the song. And uh, again, there's uh, quite a few. There's dozens of water protectors that have taken it upon themselves to um, black business as usual in Wells Fargo. Through this way, I can get you back up a different way, otherwise, you're just gonna have to hang out. So what were you just saying? Uh, that man in the red, the uh, pink and gray and white shirt uh, was encouraging and uh, watching as one of the uh, workers here uh, pushed us uh, in an attempt to uh, get to his job. It was very important that he got to his job. And that man right there uh, said he would like to watch. And he's on film doing so. so yeah, it's about five, ten minutes ago in the stream. Yep. This, this, yeah, this man named Andrew something. I wasn't able to see his last name. Um, he's been acting as security. As you heard it, his water protector said that he was literally Wells assaulted. Wells Fargo is funding the Dakota Access Pipeline, which is crossing under the largest river in North America. Now they're making those uh, workers leave this area. They were standing behind uh, the, yes, the folks. And he's going to check in with Wells Fargo to see if anyone is willing to come meet with you about divestment. Um, he also wanted me to let you know that you're trespassing and uh, are risking arrest. And, yep. he, and he he told you all, to you to make a statement? Do you work for Wells Fargo? No, I'm a police li consent on police liaison by this group. Where? Well, okay, so you're the police liaison for the group. And then so they have said that there's actually a possibility of a meeting that people are looking forward to. And that the, did, he, did they give any kind of dispersal order? Did the people need to leave right now or within a moment? It was um, something about trespass, but it wasn't an official dispersal order. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. And so as you heard, the, the police liaison um, basically was told by the police that they are trust, people are trespassing at the moment. Um, and there is uh, no work as usual right here. These elevators are blocked. They're locked down. 
these elevators are locked down. So essentially, six folks standing in front of the hallways have shut down this whole side of Wells Fargo, A through F and G through J, fours. And this started at about 7.35, 7.40. Again, this is Nico from Unicorn Ride. Thank you all for joining. We are in downtown Minneapolis at Wells Fargo. Water protectors have locked down and alarm, arm lock boxes at two hallways heading into Wells Fargo. Anybody, oops, I'm sorry. Anybody want to talk about why you all are here? Is, uh, we have a spokesperson. Yeah. Yeah. All right. um, yeah. Long red hair. Okay. Talk to you. And so we just talked to we just talked to some of the the water protectors here. We're going to talk to some of the other folks that are over here. Um, so here's the police officers. They're just sort of standing around, milling around. Um, they haven't given dispersal orders yet. There's been no dispersal order given. Yeah. Alright, thank you all for joining us. This is Nico from Unicorn Ride. We're going to go down and come right back up on a different feed. Uh, we'll have the mic and the rig. We have it here. Um, right now, we are outside of, in the hallway lobby of Wells Fargo.